The film begins with a shot of a street where a man named Bill Pope, a CIA agent on a mission in London, walks. He walks into a store and encounters a lady who hands him a bag containing a significant amount of cash. Bill grabs the bag and rushes out the door. In between walks, he calls his wife and her daughter answers. He is talking to his wife when he sees that someone is watching him. He cuts the phone and places it in the pocket of an unidentified strolling man before entering a train to escape the man who is following him. As the train's door close, he gets out to get on his bike and ride away, and the man starts following him again. In the next scene, the CIA station at the American Embassy is shown. A man named Quaker Wells, the head of operation, and his team is monitoring Bill and providing him with security. Bill is trying to hide by dodging people who are following him. The girl is also following him, and she notes the nameplate of the cab in which Bill is sitting. She gives this information to her boss Xavier Heimdall who is a Spanish anarchist. He is keeping a strict eye on Bill, even in a cab. Two cars are following him continuously, so he messages Marta that they are after him. Marta is one of the members of the American Embassy. They are all trying to track him for help but couldn't. Bill stops near a building and somehow hides in When his gun is out of bullets, Xavier's people arrest him. They take Bill to their place and beat him to death after torturing him and giving him electric shocks. Only Bill knew about the whereabouts of the hacker they are after. If the hacker cannot be found on time, the control of the wormhole program might fall into the hands of others. The CIA team reaches the building by tracking Bill's phone. They go inside and find Bill's body. They inform Quaker and his team about his passing, which makes everyone sad. Dr. Micah Franks, who is a famous neurologist, is sitting in his office. A CIA officer comes, and he asks Dr. Franks to come with him because they need him to convert the memories of a dead person into an alive one. Dr. Franks agrees on doing it because he is a professional, but he has a condition. He will select the recipient himself. They want to convert Bill's memory into someone else's brain because Bill knows where the hackers are hiding. Following that, the director of the West Virginia jail tells CIA operatives about a man named Jericho. He is a death row prisoner who used to smash his head while he was young. He is an emotionless person. The director tells the cops to not bring Jericho since he cannot feel fear, happiness, sadness, or any other emotion. He has no pity or sympathy for anyone, but Dr. Franks thinks he is the best recipient. The CIA men hypnotize Jericho and take him to Dr. Franks. Dr. Franks is waiting for him. Dr. Franks relocates him to a different location where he will receive the procedure. Dr. Franks informs Jericho of his position and that he would feel things after the surgery. Meanwhile, Xavier is shown on television as a prominent figure. During his interview, he gets asked about the government. He responds by declaring that the entire government is corrupt and that he is going to change everything. The CIA team is observing his interview. During the interview, one agent investigates the female who had been stalking Bill. Her name is Elsa, and she is a German Special Force soldier. The CIA agents are given surgical instructions by Dr. Frank's assistant. They arrive at the site of Jericho's surgery. Dr. Franks begins the procedure by drilling Bill's brain into Jericho's head. The system gets disrupted when Dr. Franks wants to halt the surgery. Quaker encourages him to continue. After a while, Jericho's health begins to improve. On the other hand, Quaker requests the CIA operatives to tell Bill's family of his passing. But they will not offer any other information so that the family won't get into any trouble. After a few days, Jericho regains consciousness and begins speaking. Quaker approaches him and begins questioning him about the Dutchman and the hacker's location. Even Dr. Franks advises him not to pressure him, but Quaker keeps questioning. Jericho insists that he does not remember anything, despite having memories of a guy in a suitcase containing a large sum of money. Jericho tells Quaker that he could have remembered it incorrectly. Quaker storms out of the room. He tells the CIA agents that the memory program has failed and that they should take Jericho away and hide him. Jan Struck, who is known by the Dutchman, is shown sitting and waiting for Bill. Bill Pope was going to make a deal with the Dutchman that day. When Bill doesn't show up, he sends a video message to a CIA officer. He states that his cyber name is Dutchman. He tells him that he has created software that allows him to control the U.S. defense system, which means that he can activate any weapon that the CIA team has through his computer. He can cancel any attack that the CIA orders at any time. He also threatens to sell the technology to the United States if they do not provide him with full protection and a million dollars. Jan calls Bill's wife to inform her of Bill's absence, but she informs him that Bill is no longer alive. Meanwhile, Jericho is being transferred to his prison cell by CIA officials since Dr. Franks had no time to study. Dr. Franks tells him to take care of himself and bids him farewell. While the cops are taking Jericho back to his cell, he removes a rod from the car's window. He fashions a weapon for himself. He later uses it to kill the officer driving the car. Jericho tries to escape. He kills both cops before fleeing in a vehicle while listening to music. Jericho arrives at Bill's house and attempts to speak with Bill's wife, Jill, but she becomes angry upon seeing Jericho. Jericho ties her up to a bed and goes to speak with Bill's daughter. He is experiencing memories of Bill's wife and daughter, which is why he does not want to hurt them. When Jericho views himself in the mirror, he starts seeing Bill's face. 
Jericho is having flashbacks about Bill's life, indicating that Dr. Frank's memory treatment is working. Jericho attempts to recall his memories of the money bag by questioning Bill's wife, but Jill has no idea about the bag. Jericho begins exploring Bill's house for expensive items before leaving. Jill secretly hits the alarm button, indicating that there is a problem in Bill's house. The alarm is received by the CIA team. Meanwhile, Jan receives a setback from Xavier, who wants Jan to return. They work together, and Xavier always regards Jan as his own son. Jan, on the other hand, refuses to return since he knew Xavier intends to utilize him and his program. When Jan does not receive a call from the American embassy, he intends to make his offer to the Russian embassy. He informs them that he will give them a demo of his program at 6 p.m. The Russians agree. Meanwhile, Jill calls the cops and tells them all they need to know about Jericho. When CIA agents notify Quaker about this, he becomes worried and orders his agents to find Jericho as quickly as possible because they now know the memory program is functioning. Jericho, on the other hand, sells everything he had gathered from Jill's house for money. Jericho takes on Bill's personality and begins speaking in several languages with others. Jericho goes to a public library and begins searching for Bill using his ID. However, CIA operatives are keeping a watch on him, and they go to the same library and use the same computer that Jericho has used. They learn that he is looking for Dr. Franks. The CIA contacts Dr. Franks and requests that he prevent Jericho in some way so that they may capture him. However, before Dr. Franks can act, Jericho arrives. He requests medication from Dr. Franks since he is annoyed by the flashbacks of Bill's life. Meanwhile, Xavier hacks the CIA system and begins to check Bill's files. He discovers Dr. Franks in his files and begins tracing it. Dr. Franks is with Jericho at a drugstore, where he informs Jericho that he has no illness, but is only adopting Bill's personality, and that he will recover in a few days. Through hacking, Xavier is able to listen in on this talk and learn about memory software. While Dr. Franks is dispensing medications from the pharmacy for Jericho, a CIA agent arrives and arrests him. Elsa, Xavier's spy, is witnessing the entire scene. On the other hand, a CIA agent informs Agent Quaker that Jan is planning to sell his software to Russian and will give them a demo. Quaker asks Jericho if he could drive them to Jan. The bag of money he is having visions of can be Jan's. During the chat, Jericho notices a beach on television and expresses his desire to go there. Quaker agrees and takes him to the beach. Jan tells the location where he will be at. Meanwhile, Xavier creates a fake ID for Jan and declares him wanted because of hacking London's airport system. People can notify authorities if they see Jan because of this. Now that Jericho and CIA operatives have arrived at the spot, Agent Quaker instructs his agents to return Jericho because his mission is over. Jericho inquires about the money he was promised by Quaker, but Quaker ignores him and leaves. When Jericho returns, Xavier sends his agents to attack him. Xavier closes the bridge, trapping Jericho, and when Xavier's agents begin firing, the agents of Quaker are hit and eliminated. Jericho takes advantage of Bill's abilities and escapes by diving into the sea. Jericho arrives at Bill's house, and he feels strange. Jill discovers Jericho and holds a pistol to his head before questioning him about his identity. Jericho tells her everything about his operation, as well as something only Jill and Bill knew. She can't believe it for a second, but then she trusts Jericho and allows him to stay for the night. Jan is delivering a demo to the Russian embassy by hacking one of the submarine systems, exploding it since he never desired devastation. The next morning, Jericho discovers the money bag hidden behind a bookcase at the university library where Jill works. He goes there to obtain it. Elsa breaks into the Pope's mansion and kidnaps Jill and Emma while Xavier Heimdall goes after Jericho. When Quaker and his crew learn about the kidnapping, they set out to find them. Meanwhile, the Russians have their own squad searching for Jan. The CIA and the Russian teams both surround the campus while Xavier kidnaps Jericho. He then recalls Jan hiding in Jill's office. Elsa has Jericho accompany her to the workplace. They travel through the lab, which allows Jericho to create a bomb in order to escape from Elsa. He runs to Jill's office to find Jan and speak with him, but they are discovered by Elsa. Jan gets shot in the head, and she nearly takes over the drive with his software, until Jericho appears and beats her to death with a lamp. Despite Quaker's warnings that it's too dangerous and that lives are at stake, Jericho rushes to the airstrip where Xavier is planning to flee with Jill and Emma. Jericho arrives, but Xavier shoots him and escapes on his jet, just as Quaker and his men approach. As Quaker shouts at Jericho for his action, Jericho discloses that he had Jan modify the wormhole so that anything launched from it would land wherever it is launched from. As a result, the missile Xavier Heimdall sent to target the airfield returns to, blowing him and the wormhole up. Later, Jericho is on the beach. Jill and Emma, as well as Quaker and Franks and a few other agents, greet him. Jill and Emma are aware that Bill is still alive in Jericho's mind. Quaker then informs Dr. Franks that he intends to hire Jericho. 